So in today's video, we're gonna talk about speeding up your WordPress website if you're using the salient or Aveda themes off of Theme First. Website speed. It's important. You may not realize how important it is, but it is. According to KISS metrics, 47% of internet users expect a website to load in two seconds or less. And in the same study, 40% of users will abandon a site if it takes longer than three seconds to load. Now, many of us are using integrated uh, website builders with WordPress that will allow us to quickly and easily develop a beautiful looking website without having to know a lot of code or in cases like me, being able to quickly prototype. But there is a disadvantage to this. These themes tend to be fairly big and they make for a slow loading website. Two of the more popular builders are the Aveda and Salient Theme, both which you can buy from ThemeForest. Between the two, they've sold over 200,000 copies, making them two of the more popular premium WordPress themes on the market. And while I don't use them too much anymore, I have used them in the past, so I do have copies around that I could test. Both of them load around three seconds. I got a 2.7 second load with Aveda and a 3.2 second load with Salient. So the question is, how do we go about speeding up these sites to get closer to that two second mark? All right, so first of all, we need to talk about hosting because I know a lot of you are gonna be using cheap, low quality hosting. It's usually the $2.95 uh, hosting that some guru suggested to you because he gets paid an exorbitant amount of money to suggest it to you. Now the hosting I use runs about $7.95 a month, which is not a huge amount more, but with it you get things like solid state drives, you get uh, Cloud Linux instead of CentOS, you get Lightspeed instead of Apache, and they don't overload their servers. Now, getting outside all the technical aspect of it, all it means is your sites will load faster on this good quality hosting compared to the poor quality hosting. And the second, you need to optimize your images. Now, when I say optimize your images, there's a lot of people who will take something right out of their camera and upload the entire file onto their website and it takes forever to load. Instead, what I suggest, there's a lot of free tools out there that you can go ahead and run your pictures through, and what it will do is it will reduce them in size. So I've been able to take you know, files that are one, two, three megabytes in size, and get them down to 40, 50, 60 kilobytes in size. And as you can imagine, those load that much faster. I will link to a few of these free tools down below in the comment section. Uh, go ahead and check those out as well. Now, third, we're gonna talk about caching, and caching is one of the more effective ways. But before we get to caching, I wanna talk about number four, which is a content delivery network, or CDN. Now, to be honest, I don't use a content delivery network, and mainly I don't use it because the other three things I do seem to make for really fast loading sites. In fact, some of the sites I'm doing, I get down to a one second load time. But what a content delivery network does is it essentially duplicates your site and puts it at different servers around the globe so that whoever is closer to those servers, that's where it loads from. And because it doesn't have to go as far, it loads that much quicker. But for me, I found the most effective way is to use a caching plugin. So let's talk about caching and what it is. So normally when you go to a WordPress site, your browser is telling the web, the web server, in this case Apache or, or Lightspeed, to serve a bunch of files. And those files are your HTML and your CSS that show you how your site looks. And as you can imagine, for every single bit of those files that needs to be served, it takes that much longer. And these big integrated uh, themes like Aveda or Salient, they have a lot of files. And what a caching plugin does in its simplest form is says, okay, instead of serving up all these different files, just make one big file like you would like an old fashioned website and serve that up and it just loads that much faster. Now there are dozens and dozens of caching plugins available for WordPress. 
Uh, some of them work great, some of them not so well. Uh, but the problem is, is they all interact differently with your theme. And especially with these larger themes, some of them do not work well at, at all, and some of them work better. And in fact, you take Aveda and Salient, which are essentially using the Visual Composer plugin uh, for, for building the site, and they actually react differently uh, with different plugins. So what I did is I tested about a dozen of these with both of these themes. And in fact, I did it with Divi as well. And below here, I'll leave a link. Uh, and with Divi, I was able to get to one second load time. So what I did is I set up a control environment, I built a dummy website, and then I cloned it over to a test site where I was able to blow it out and test all these different caching plugins. For Salient, the two best were WP Rocket, which performed the best at 2.1 seconds, and W3 Total Cache with Auto Optimize uh, as a secondary plugin, and I got it down to 2.4 seconds in that case. Now with Aveda, using both WP Fastest Cache and WordPress Cache Enabler, I was able to get a 1.8 second load time. Now, if you want more details and the settings that I use and the testing that I did, below here I will leave a link to both those blog posts that talk about the testing of the caching plugins. Now, if you're using any of these themes with your WordPress site, I recommend using one of the caching plugins that I recommend below. But I also do suggest go ahead and set up a test environment, clone your website over to make sure it doesn't mess anything up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. And if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you know anyone you think might get use out of it, go ahead and share it with them as well.